Welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It's your host, Galadon Builder Hall 7. If you guys haven't seen the live stream with the tournament hosted by myself and Klaus, make sure you check it out on my channel, Uploading Momentarily. And there is some amazing strategy there, base designs and attacks. But what I wanted to do here was talk a little bit more in depth about the dropship. Definitely, in my opinion, the most exciting addition to Builder Hall 7. Now, of course, the giant cannon, pretty cool. And right off the bat in this video, you guys, this is absolutely my favorite thing to watch in Builder Hall 7 is the way this cannon sends units flying. Now, the other cool thing about the cannon is the fact that that ball, that cannon ball, that cannon's got multiple balls and they go all the way across the map. They go flying into the forest. They go out over the ocean. They apparently travel forever. So think about that one. All right, but not too hard. Anyway, so what we're doing, yes, we're rolling through all of the defenses, maxed out level seven, Builder Hall seven defenses, uh, gemmed up to max. Oh, speaking of, yes, also, we will be gemming to max Builder Hall seven live on YouTube and Mixer. So I'm going to do a live stream for both YouTube and Mixer where we spend as many gems as it takes, sky's the limit, until we max out Builder Hall 7 completely. And uh, again, doing it for the stream, I realize you guys, there's a lot of purists out there who, 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 who would rather I talk correctly and who would rather not do that. And I appreciate that. I also have a free to play account that I play on, uh, but I also want to be able to play the end game stuff because honestly, that's how this whole channel got started. I loved playing Clash of Clans when Town Hall 10 first came out and uh, I did become a dirty gemmer when Town Hall 10 was released. I'm going to admit it right here, okay? So yes, I like to fast forward through to get to the end game content to play it and that's what we will be doing again for Builder Hall 7. Uh, this definitely, I mean, I know you guys had no idea what's going to happen when an air unit attacks a ground facing defense. Uh, but again, let's just start to talk a little bit about the drop ship. Now, it's one of those things where we're differentiating from the home village. Bombers are not wall breakers and drop ships are not balloons. They do not target defenses first. They target any nearest building and they are kind of that unique, but not so unique, combination of ground and air. And the reason I say they're not unique, think about it, Night Witches. Right there, you have the almost exact mirror of a dropship. You've got a air unit that drops ground units as opposed to a ground unit that spawns air units. More deep thoughts from Galadon. So, yes, and, and the cool thing about the dropship is it's relatively tanky. You'll notice it does seem to have a lot of hit points. Uh, we're not allowed to show the exact number of hit points because, again, this is the developer build, and things can always change. So even the a length of time that it takes for the dropship to destroy a structure or be destroyed by said structure could change because the developer build is just that. It's where the developers play and a few very lucky uh, YouTubers and again very I consider myself fortunate to be a part of that group and extremely fortunate that I got to cast the tournament with my good buddy Klaus who is an absolute consummate professional if you guys don't subscribe to Klaus gaming K-L-A-U-S gaming you must it is an absolute must if you are a fan of Clash of Clans. So make sure you go check him out. He deserves way more subscribers than he has. And of course, subscribe for update and sneak peek information, even though, to be honest, sneak peeks don't really seem to exist anymore. They're pretty much just update videos. So, but Klaus and I definitely had a great time casting the tournament and there were some great attacks and some good early ideas for base designs for Builder Hall 7. Now, this one here, the Crusher, uh, we're going to go ahead and fast forward this. I'm not going to pain you guys with the actual length of time that it would take a dropship to destroy a crusher. So as we fast forward this at eight times speed, you'll notice that it takes almost the entire attack for the dropship to get through one crusher. And that's because it only spawns a few skeletons at a time. You notice the dropship obviously not doing any damage on its own. Right there, that's when you don't know where a Tesla is. Dropship goes right by. And uh, yeah, watch this. Watch for the cannonball. Lower left corner of your screen. Cannonball on its way. Any moment now, it's coming. There it is right there. Look at that. 
the forever traveling cannonball. Uh, somebody needs to do the, the physics on that one because it does not seem to be dropping towards the ground. All right, let's try to find the uh, air, the mine, the big old, the big old mine. Uh, and that, that wasn't it. Okay. There it is. All right, so there, again, a good example of how many hit points the drop ships have, you guys. Super heavy duty. They are going to survive a lot longer than most other air units. In fact, I'd say they're definitely a better tank than a baby dragon. However, you only get two per camp, so that is a bit of a trade-off. But remember, we've got five camps at Builder Hall 7. I will get to a Builder Hall 7 attack uh, at the end of this video where I'll be using the what we call the default base on Builder Hall 7 in the developer build. You can see against air bombs, however, the balloon, I mean, see, I, I did it too. The dropship, not quite as powerful, but check out all those Larrys. Check, wait, Larry, there's one Larry, come back. What are you doing down there? We're, we're, all right. He's got a mind of his own, as often those guys do. He is off to his doom. Okay, so anyway, okay, can we move on to the next one, please? Thank you. All right, there we go. Let's check it out, you guys. This is the default base at Builder Hall 7. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use, uh, I'm going to go with two camps, two camps of drop ships and the rest minions. So uh, five camps now, you guys. So 30 minions and two camps of drop ships. Right now, feeling pretty good, and uh, we really get our first look, or maybe our second look, at these maxed out level 7 defenses. They do look mean. There go the drop ships again, targeting the nearest structure. So, there is going to be some precision to dropping ships, so that they drop ship all over your opponent's base. See what I did there? Alright, anyway, so you can see them moving in rather quickly and it's so beautiful watching what seems like a balloon move over a builder hall and target it. Also, you'll notice that there is crash damage. Uh, these guys have crash damage when they go down. Not a great deal. They also spawn a few more skeletons and, uh, okay, this right here is not, don't take this necessarily as drop ships are OP, although they are strong, but take this as Good base layouts are going to be key, okay? You, you're going to need to study those base layouts. I would suggest that you take a look at the Builder Hall 7 stream that is going to be on my channel in just a few minutes and look closely. Consider those bases. Remember all the tips that I've talked about in past episodes. Check out top players. Check out top clans. Hey, maybe you could go visit Full Night Attack or FNA2 or FNA3. I will put that information up on the screen as well so you guys can see that. Those are my new builder base focused clans. I would love for you guys to stop by. We welcome all friendly visitors who want to stop by. And right here, check this out. A perfect example of when you do not necessarily want to hit your battle machine's ability. Now this is a pretty high level wall, but we don't want the battle machine to get through this wall before the crusher goes down or close to it. Obviously, he would take massive damage from the crusher. The minion right there, beautiful how that worked out accidentally. The minion just out of range of the air bombs. The battle machine tanking that long range archer tower perfectly. And the one minion takes out that massive level seven crusher. And it never has a chance to touch our poor battle machine because uh, from what I understand, we have not seen a change to the way the crushers work, which is a little disappointing. Uh, I do not like the way the crushers crush through walls, the way they crush units when they're not attacking the crusher. Uh, anyway, but we'll see if that gets changed in the future or not. For now, the biggest and most exciting thing that I think I see so far in the new meta of Builder Hall 7 is the idea that dirty baby dragon spam may no longer be a thing. And the reason I say that is it seems like it's going to be a little bit easier to grab two-star attacks, and so it's going to come down to percentage more often and not whether you've gotten a one or two-star attack. So there it is, you guys. Make sure you check out the Builder Hall live stream tournament with myself and Klaus as your hosts. I love you guys. You are the true hashtag Galafam, and I love Clash of Clans. I hope you guys do too, and I hope more update stuff comes for all members of the game. War, farming, trophies, and Builder Hall. In the meantime, have a great day. See you tomorrow, and full attack.